Hey everyone, welcome back to John's Watch. Today I'm taking a look at a visual novel game called Tokyo School Life on the Nintendo Switch. That's right, I can record Switch games now, it's so exciting. So this is one of the first visual novels to be on the Switch. I think there's like less than 10 right now. Uh, its regular price is $14.99 US or your regional equivalent. I always thought the Switch would be a perfect console for visual novels, like I quite enjoy playing like games or reading. Um, in bed before I go to sleep at night, so I thought visual novels would be perfect. So let's hop right into it. What are we going to call ourselves? That's very close. John. We'll keep- now people know my last name already. <laughs> it's fine. Gosh, it's so exciting that it's on Switch. So exciting that I can record Switch games as well. Bam, John Bell, that's me. In case you didn't know. <laughs> Greetings from Narita Airport. My name is John Bell. I place my feet on the ground in Japan. Finally, I'm in the country I've admired for so many years. The plane arrived just before sunrise. As soon as I disembark, I immediately notice a difference in the air. Even this early in the morning, it's warm and humid. Narita is actually the airport that Robbie and I landed in when we went to Japan. So it's very accurate so far. Robbie's uh, not here in this, obviously. <laughs> so this is a Japanese summer. Okay, it's not accurate anymore. We went in winter. For now, I'll just snap a photo on my phone and, there we go, upload it. Huh, I can just imagine frustrated looks on the faces of all the guys in high school who said I'd never make it. I've got to post this again when they're awake. <sighs> the, the game is also sort of designed to teach you Japanese as well. You can see in the top that it is actually um, writing it all in hiragana as well. So you learn kind of basic Japanese. It's not like... A teaching game there are games like that but this one just kind of like it happens to teach you some Japanese stuff along the way I'm feeling woozy from jet lag but I can't wait to see what happens next I'm completely beat but I'm just too wired to sleep right now all right no time to waste I roll my suitcase full of my belongings towards the bus stop my destination is Okawa City in Western Tokyo I'm gonna attend the private school Keiakirai High School my high school back home has a long history as the sister school of Keiakadai High School. Every year they select the applicant with the highest grades to spend two months as an exchange student in Japan. This year, it's my turn to take on this historic privilege. I'm so crazy about Japan that I started studying Japanese on my own, so when I heard about this godsend system, I was overjoyed. After that, I just studied my brains out like I'd never had before. All my hard work paid off, and now I'm in the country I've admired, Japan. Look how I bound bus. Here it is. There's a direct bus from Narita Airport to Okawa Station. I was worried if the plane was late I'd miss the bus and have to take a complicated train route instead, but it looks like I made it in time. Fun fact. Robbie and I were somewhat unprepared for how to get from our hotel from Narita Airport when we got there. Like, we, we kind of looked on Google Maps, we thought we'd figured it out, but when we got there we were just like, totally overwhelmed by everything, but... Almost everyone speaks English at Narita Airport, some very helpful people. Uh, there's like an information desk that specifically like told us exactly what to do and what bus passes to buy and everything, so it's very easy to do if you're ever thinking about going to Japan. Ah, I'm so excited. Ah, tan... tanoshimi... dana? Tanoshimi dana. It's been a while since I've read Japanese. Like, I can still remember pretty much all hiragana. As the express bus departs, I sink down into the comfy seat and relax. Soon, both my mind and body are at ease. Japan's so cool. So many unique and exotic cultures have their roots here. Harajuku's fashion culture, Akihabara's otaku culture, Shinjuku's yakuza culture. I can't wait to see all of them. Shit, we only did one of those. <laughs> but there's something I'm looking forward to even more than all of that. If, if somehow you haven't seen Minor Robbie's Japan vlogs, definitely go check them out. Um, those are some of my favorite videos I've ever done. And they might closely follow this, maybe. There's no girls in our vlogs. <laughs> wow, I hope I can get to know some cute girls. My Japanese sensei said foreigners, or as the Japanese say, gaijin, are total babe magnets in Japan. He lied. <laughs> and he dated a bunch of girls while he was here. I'm not going to be all greedy like going out with more than one girl, but... I hope I can make friends with the delicate, kind, and lovely Yamato 
Nadeshiko, the ideal Japanese girl. If possible, we could get close enough to become pen pals after I leave, and eventually we could become more than that. <laughs> to make that happen, I can't mess up this first day of school. I gotta make a good first impression so everyone knows I'm friendly and approachable. I'll do my best. Ganbate! <sighs> he falls asleep. I didn't even have to read that one in the top right, uh, top left. No way. Sonna. Uh, Okana? <laughs> I'm at Okawa Station. I frantically look back and forth from the time of my phone to the clock at the station. No mistake yet, they match. I planned on arriving at school 30 minutes before class starts to meet my teacher, so I schedule things with time to spare. Oh no, I'm going to be late at this rate. The bus driver explained that there was a traffic jam on the freeway. He should have woken me up. Well, I guess even if he did, it wouldn't have made any difference. Okay, I really got to book it now. There's probably a bus that goes to the school. Even though I'm decent at speaking Japanese, reading and writing aren't my strong points. Rather than try and figure out the public transportation in the country I'm not used to, I'll believe in the power of my own two legs. I quickly shove my bulky suitcase in a rental locker at Okawa Station, pack a few necessities in my messenger bag and sling it over my shoulder. Okay, all set. Let's input the coordinates for Keiakidai High into my phone's map. With a few taps, the route to school pops right up. I do this all the time back home. But somehow, using the same features in another country feels more impressive. I was totally without service, without phone service, in Japan. I just had to rely on like Wi-Fi and like McDonald's and stuff. But luckily Robbie had uh, bought in a SIM card at the airport so we could still use Google Maps. We would have been fucked without it. It's supposed to be a 20 minute walk, but I gotta arrive in 10 minutes. Okay, time to be a man. <laughs> This is rough. I'm feeling dizzy. It's such a workout. I feel like I'm gonna puke. I've hardly slept, and it's sweltering out here. I read that summers in Japan are humid, but I didn't think it'd be this bad. I can't stop sweating. It feels nasty. Ugh. No, no. At times like this, I gotta think about something fun. This is like a stereotypical scene in Japanese manga and anime. A girl running with toast in her mouth saying, I'm late, I'm late. And then she crashes into a boy who's also running and BAM! Love blossoms. What's the deal with that, anyway? Why does Japanese fiction always use that same old trope? Is it some kind of artistic tradition? Oh no, she stopped at McDonald's. Yeah, it's always a corner just like this and they're running like I am? Wabam! Holy shit, look at that animation! Wow! Uh? Ow, what the? Crashed into someone? The mouth moves and everything? This is amazing! Hmm, what's this? Something warm and soft? Uh oh. Uh? <laughs> Just see all the ah in top left. Huh? Uh? What the? Eh? I realize my situation as I try to get up. I'm positioned on top of a girl I don't know, like I'm embracing her. I guess since I was moving around in this position... <clears throat> what? Nani? Let's calm down and take a good look at the situation. Okay, so right now, I'm on a road in Okawa, Tokyo. I knocked over a girl and I'm hugging her? This is really bad, isn't it? Girl's knee shoots straight into my gut. Or should I say my solar plexus? I can't breathe. <laughs> You're calling yourself a fragile maiden? She pulls out her phone and starts tapping it. The cops! Please! No, 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 no. This is bad. Very bad. Real bad. Do you have any injuries, miss? I don't seem to have any. <laughs> Ego? Sorry, I'm in a big hurry right now. Let's both try to be more careful. Uh, 
<laughs> smart, smart guy. Ah, chotomate. Sumimasen. I didn't mean anything by it. Oh no, he said gomenasai, sorry. No, he just said gomen. Gomena? No matter how you look at it, it really was just an accident. I raise my hands in apology. <laughs> Going for a big old group, an apologetic group. She takes a guarded stance. No, I, I just... When I try to explain I'm just out of breath, I take a good look at her, and I'm instantly enchanted. The girl is incredibly hot. Her facial features are gorgeous and well-defined, and her body is slender and tall. Japanese girls are cute, but she's on a whole different level. I wonder if she's a model or something. In particular, my eyes are drawn right to the volume of her chest. She taps. <laughs> oh no. It's like a harassment whistle or something. <laughs> she silently tugs on a small gadget hanging from her bag. At that moment, a really loud noise starts blaring. What is this, some kind of alarm? My sensei taught me about a saying they have in Japan. Discretion is the better part of valor. In other words, in a hopeless situation, just give up and get out of there. So he's just gonna run. <laughs> Time to run like the wind. Not a chance. Sorry, it really wasn't on purpose. I'll apologize later. Just please let me off the hook for now. I'm not a criminal, okay? I'm not a criminal. <laughs> Ugh, man, this is the worst. It's a good start, fella. You know she's going to be in this class, though. <sighs> I finally made it. My unexpected detour made the trip take even longer. I feel like I'm about to drop dead. But thanks to my speedy escape, I'm not late. Just one a minute until class starts. If I go straight to the classroom, I can make it just in time. But man, I know it was my fault too. But what was with that girl? Everything would have been fine if she just listened to me for a second. I thought Japanese girls were supposed to be gentle and kind. She was tougher than the girls in my country. Sensei, isn't this just a little different than your stories? I think about that as I run, which distracts me. It's not gonna be the same girl, is it? A girl runs down the stairs at top speed. At this rate, she's on a crash course right into me as I run down the hall. But I, John Bell, won't make the same mistake twice. Ha! I quickly slam up. <laughs> I quickly slam on the brakes. Stopping with expert precision as the girl lands safely on the floor. I don't even bump her slightly. However, my mistake is tensing up and gripping my right hand tightly. By the way, I didn't mention it, but I was really hungry before. The in-flight meal was some nasty fried fish that was too gross to stomach, so I stopped at a convenience store early and brought a, bought a sandwich and some black tea. Japanese convenience stores sure have a wide variety of stuff, it's great. The lettuce and ham sandwich I got was yummy. First few hours in Japan, and you go for a, a lettuce and ham sandwich. Great work, buddy. <laughs> well, maybe a bit expensive for how small it was, though. What I'm trying to say is, well, I have tea in a juice box in my right hand. In my right hand, I squeezed very tightly. Bad. This is bad. Harassing more girls, Jesus. This is entirely my fault. It's gonna stain and smell too. I gotta apologize. Um, uh. Huh? Wait a minute, what's going on? I think spilling tea on someone is definitely trouble. Shouldn't I be the one apologizing here? Kaijin san? Robbie and I definitely got called Gaijins when we were we were there. Um, there was one time we were walking through one of the subways. I uh, don't remember where we were going, and some like Japanese man like hurried up to us and like asked us something, and we were like, but "Sorry, we 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 don't speak Japanese very well." And he like kind of like was taken aback and took a second look and realized that we were foreigners, and he just like. <laughs> he just like shook his head and like mumbled Gaijin and walked away. <laughs> uh. We're defended though, we thought it was funny. Daijobu. Oh, 
I love the animation. Like, this is, like, the most animated visual novel I think I've ever played. This is fantastic. She bows formally and then runs down the hallway. She apologized so much I couldn't squeeze in a word. I thought for sure she'd get mad at me like the last girl. Apologize or get mad? Which is it? I don't get it. I don't get Japanese girls at all. Sensei, Japanese girls are deep. Communicating with them doesn't go as easily as you said. I'm getting my spirits broken from day one. Huh? Class is starting! Oh no, it's already time for class. Sorry I'm late. Oh, you must be John Belkin. I was just talking about you. Do you understand Japanese? Yes, it's no problem for me. That's good. We were just talking about you. I was getting worried you might have gotten into some trouble. Don't worry about me, just been harassing females. No, I I'm fine. My bus was just running late. Everyone, this is the exchange student, Belkun. This is why I don't like my last name for, for Japan, because they usually go by last names. So Belkun just sounds really bad. Especially because it would be like, Berukun. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> Please make friends with him and try to learn about each other's culture. Okay, Bel Belkun, can you introduce yourself? Thank goodness. Looks like I made it in time somehow. Now it's time for my ever important first impression. I have to implant the idea into them that I'm the friendly gaijin who can speak Japanese. Um, we can do this. Minasan is everyone. Uh, Hajime Mashite is nice to meet you. John Bell, uh, Dayo? Okay, sure. When I raise my head, all eyes in the classroom are on me. Wow, they all have black hair. Of course they do, they're all Japanese. There's a lot of pressure with all these people with the same clothes and same hair staring at me. I took a plane overseas and just arrived in Japan this morning. I like Japan and I've always admired... Huh? Haven't I seen that face somewhere before? <laughs> just in the middle of class. I feel like that's not a very Japanese thing to do. You know, in the middle of class. I feel like you would just like sit quietly. She doesn't even have black hair. Uh? Wait, wait, wait. Mate, mate, mate. This is bad, very bad. As bad as it can get! Oh no, all my classmates are gossiping about it. Oh, it's Tea Girl. Did she not say hentai? That's pervert. The mumbling in the classroom gets louder. I can hear them whispering, Hentai! Hentai! No, no, I'm not like that. Um, Belkun. And also, Yayoi, Yayoi, and Hazuki. Do I have a word with all of you in the faculty room? I'm telling you, I'm not like that. He thought internally to himself. <laughs> this is su such a good game so far, I'm loving this. Uh, okay, I guess that is a good good time to leave the video. Um, I'm <laughs> just finished saying I'm loving this so far. This is great. Um, I am definitely going to play it the rest of the game in my spare time on my Switch. God, it's so great. I just want, like, I, I think I would probably trade, like, my whole visual novel collection on Steam to get them all on Switch. I'd love to play, like, something like Clan Ad on Switch, like... I, I just can't bring myself to sit down in front of my computer and, like, read for, like, 80 hours, but I could very easily do it on a Switch. So I really hope more visual novels come to Switch. But anyway, that was a look at Tokyo School Life. Like I said, absolutely love this. It has been available on Steam for a while, but it has uh, only... What is happening? It's just playing by itself. <laughs> uh, it's it's only just come to, uh, to Switch uh, today, as I'm recording it, actually, February 14th. Thank you guys very much for watching, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!